What's going on, Champagne Gang, Fizz Fam, Confidant? <laughs> Welcome to a section that we call Night Secrets, where we give you a little something, something to help you drift off to dreamland. If you're ready, journey with me into the imagination. Get ready to rest and relax. Shake off all of that negativity from the day, all of that toxicity. Now this is going to be best with headphones. Now if you're ready, Let's go. Escape with me into the realm of affirmations and encouragement from the Word of God. Feel yourself visualizing the affirmations and standing on the commandments of God for your life. As always, We'll start with a breathing exercise to help us fully relax and prepare to receive these affirmations. For you see, it's not just the words you speak, but it's also the posture in which you speak them. So get ready. Journey with me into Bible scape. Biblical affirmations and encouragement from the Word of God, the Word of God, the Word of God. This will be a 30 minute session of breath work, biblical affirmations, and visualization. Now go ahead and get comfy. Grab your favorite pillow and blanket. Grab your water for hydration. Find a calm place. Lay back and relax and relax. Now let's evict all of that stress and tension. So close your eyes and just begin to breathe. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Blowing all of the air out. Focus on the image on the screen. Watch and count the repetitions of inhales, breath holds, and exhales. Continue breathing normally while you count. Once you have the repetitions memorized, close your eyes and continue slowing your breathing until it reaches the repetitions from the image. Now let's slow your breathing even more. Feel yourself beginning to relax. Relax your mind, relax your eyelids, relax your temples, relax your eyebrows. Feel all tension begin to subside from every muscle in your face. Feel your head resting gently on your neck. Your neck is so relaxed. No tension. No tightness. No stiffness. Just relaxation. Down to your shoulders. Feel all pressure beginning to lift from your shoulders, the weight of the world, family, finances, business, career, insecurity, 
stress, depression, anxiety. Feel all low vibrations being replaced by peace and confidence and assurance and clarity and relaxation through every muscle. Feel the tension leaving. Now think about how it feels to be so relaxed. Can you smell the relaxation? Does the air smell differently when you relax? Does it feel differently? Move down to your torso and your waist. Feel it washing over your hips, your pelvis. Relax your thighs, inner thigh, outer thigh. Relax your legs, your calves, your hamstrings, your quadriceps, your adductors. Let's move on to your feet and ankles and your toes. Feel stress slipping from them. All tension, all stress. Everything low vibrational from the crown of your head through your body. Feel it leaving out bottom of your feet. Feel yourself feeling lighter with no stress and no tension. Just peace, calm, and relaxation and relaxation. The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 41 and 10. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all of thy ways. Psalms 91, 1 through 11. 
now I need you to picture the Lord your God with you. Feel the warmth of his presence. Feel it encompassing you round about, embracing you, empowering you, and encouraging you. Now picture the secret place of the Most High. See yourself dwelling there, moving around in there, breathing the air. Is it a cave? Is it by water? Is it in the sky? What does it smell like? in the secret place? What does it feel like to be there? Are you in awe? Feel the presence of your God in his secret place. Everybody has a secret place with God, but this one is yours. Picture the wings of God spread like that of an eagle as far as the east is from the west. Picture those wings covering you. Feel the feathers brushing against your cheek. Feel them covering you like the softest blanket. Feel yourself laying back on those feathers. How do you feel? You are safe. You are protected. You are covered. Whenever you enter into the secret place of the Most High, And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 7. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John 14, 27. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always, by all means. The Lord be with you. 2 Thessalonians 3, 16. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. Isaiah 26 and 3. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. John 16 and 33. Now picture yourself in a continual state of peace. No distractions, no frustration, no stress, just peace. Feel peace overtaking your heart. Mending heartbreak. Regulating your heartbeats. Calming your nerves. What is the color of your peace? Is it blue? 
Is it orange? Is it fuchsia? Is it red? Is it purple? Is it pink? Every time you see that color, think only of peace. Now picture yourself calling on the name of Jesus. Each time you call his name, picture the peace of God hovering over you. Picture yourself in the secret place of the Most High, breathing peace, seeing peace, feeling peace. by peace and at peace. The Lord is your source, dear one. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 23. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory. Philippians 4, 19. Now picture yourself with all of your needs met. Food, shelter, water, vehicle, financially secure. Picture the Lord God, your shelter, leading you, guiding your steps. See those still waters. Those waters restore your soul. Look at them. Do you see how crystal clear the waters are. You can see right to the bottom. There's nothing dangerous in these waters. It's so refreshing. It's the best water you've ever tasted. Feel it giving you clarity. Not only that, but picture having all of your wants. Picture the shepherd extending his hand and the heavens opening and pouring out everything you want and need. The house you dreamed of, the car, the relationship, the money, the peace, the joy, Feel yourself standing confidently, head held high, because you have everything you need and want. Struggle has no place here. There's no room for lack here. The still waters give you strength, and God gives you direction. 
You have no need to fear, mighty warrior. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore I will offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Psalms 27, 1 through 6. Now picture your fears. Not having enough. Not being enough. Feeling stuck. Stagnant. Your sadness heartbreak, afraid to love, afraid to be loved. Is it a person, maybe? Do you have your own Goliath? Picture the Lord your God lifting you from that sea of fear and setting you upon a large rock. Nothing can touch you on this rock. Nothing can climb the rock. Nothing can knock you off this rock. You are safe and free from fear. Known fears, unknown fears, unrealized fears. Now picture every enemy that's trying to get to you, stumbling and falling, stress, Bills, family, frenemies, work, anxiety, depression, low self esteem, low self worth, the feeling of not being enough. Picture them all stumbling and falling, but never making it to you. Now picture the safety of God's pavilion. No one can find you here. Fear can't touch you here. Anxiety has no power. It's all gonna work out for your good. And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. 
and whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we say then to all these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. 29. As we come to the end of our session, continue to picture yourself walking with God, talking with God, safe with God, covered by God, and protected by God. You are loved, dear one. One convince you otherwise. God has a secret place for only you and him where he speaks with you and gives you direction. Picture yourself walking in peace, moving in peace, speaking confidently in peace. You are no longer just a the secret place is giving you purpose. Feel God revealing to you your purpose and the steps to live it out. Free from fear. Free from struggle. Just free. Nothing can separate you from his love. Your God is not conditional. He's not sometime. His desire is for you to prosper and be in health. And he's waiting for you in the secret place. This has been Biblescape, biblical affirmations and encouragement from the word of God. I hope you're rested and relaxed and ready to drift off into dreamland. Thank you for joining us for Night Secrets. Until next time, here's to champagne dreams and good nights. Ta-ta.